gold in Overwatch Oasis uh, for tier 2, which is basically throwing versus Duck Duck Goats. We're here with two KO members from tier 3. Our captain, Harp, aka Pixelator, and also here with you, Wukong Lu, the team rep. So, gonna bring you a KO broadcasting team right here. KO is taking over the Oasis, so this is a <laughs> hostile takeover, and we're doing things our way. <laughs> so, we got both ready from the team, and we're gonna be we're starting... Ready to get going. First map is Nepal, so I'm really Nepal. excited to see here. Yeah, this should be a good, good match for both of them, and Nepal always has some fun times. Uh, we'll see if they take advantage of some potential boot plays and environmental kills later on as we get through these maps. We'll see and thank them. Ooh, first. Now, it's what interesting is interesting if we might see like a Symmetra strat to try and get to the point first, so that the other team can do potentially some form of bunker. Um, this will be interesting to see what we're going to get on picks on both sides. I'm excited to see Clan Tag, and he's a very good D DPS from what I've heard. Yeah, well, hopefully uh, this mix here of Gamers Blood and Clan Tag should be a, a really good mix. Um, obviously on the side of basically throwing, we're seeing classical, uh, well actually on both sides, and Brian Zarya. Um, but we've got Genji Echo with a Mercy Moira on, on the side of BT. Five, four, Duck Duck three, Goats though, going for a two, bit more uh, Torb one. action. Round we one. do always love ourselves a sweet Norwegian man. So, uh, <laughs> McCree Torb with Lucio Brig. Ooh, last minute switch. So both teams are making their way back into the point with the uh, Duck Duck Goats going on the left side on top and... Or not Duck Duck Goats, <laughs> basically throwing, basically go throwing. From, going from the back yeah, and <laughs> Duck Duck Goats going from the... straight to the point. <clears throat> as, as long as it is to take that high ground, I think though, by... Uh, Duck Duck Goat just going through center and going quickly and straight to the point. They've really been able to set up and they'll be able to really bunker themselves in and really, for the long term, be good here, especially with that Torb turret uh, just helping out with the spam A couple of early picks though. Uh, Zarya on the side of Duck Duck Goats and. Oh, um. Ooh, pause there, but Sud left the game. It happens a lot. <laughs> Can't really help, you know, lag and disconnecting, but hopefully they get back in time. Yeah, well, they've got three minutes from now, uh, so it's 7.43 right now. <laughs> little shout out to our other team member playing in this game, Lady of Siren. Plays DPS for KO. But we're seeing her on heels today, which we really don't really get to see her on heels since we see her more on DPS for us. Yeah, it's always fun watching her other team, especially, you know, she is a support main and that she, she does pretty well on the DPS for us as well, so it's always fun seeing her to play what she mains, you know, being Mercy and pretty much every other support hero. It's yeah. great to see her pulling out some, some hopefully some good reses and some key plays, but yeah, it's exciting. So far here, even without this disconnect, looking at just the health bars of the rest of the team, it's quite definitely the Duck Duck Goats is seeming to really have a bit of an advantage. I think them heading straight to the point, definitely the better play yeah. at this stage. Well, Bud Sud's back. We're just waiting to s them to, to save if they're ready. We're going to give them still... A minute, we got a ready from KDB, and we're gonna Tokoshi ready. Okay, so we're gonna go back into the action, guys, in Perfect. five we'll seconds. <laughs> so this here definitely will hurt them, but hopefully, uh, I can get back to the point and they can really. 
BT can just regroup and potentially try and take away the point from DuckDuckGo. Kind of the weird map because you can't really get a good angle because you just, I go one side and then you can't see the other team. You go one side, you can't see the other team. <laughs> Oh, big shatter. The twinkle. Very good. Still, even with that really good counter shatter, uh, basically Turo managed to get both tanks out there and it was just too overpowering for Duck Duck Go, so we did the point swapping over. You see now, if you see on the side of Duck Duck Goats, they have a the probably slight alt advantage. Um, <laughs> having grab as well as rally Cree as well. So we'll see if they're going to pop a bit of a combo and do something to take it back quickly. Here we go with the rally. Um, oh, J Money takes out Lady Side and investing everything into this. J Bud Side. Yeah, it looks like massive ults there, but they get back to point. Getting all but clan tag really with that trio of ults, so some good plays, but I guess that was to be expected. But now that they've used so much, it's definitely ult advantage in the side of basically throwing. They're basically gonna have everything uh start echo and versus ult but Game is blood there, just getting in a early, getting yeah, picked quite early in this next fight. It's a shame. That could have empty blade could definitely turn the tide here. Clan tag take, gets taken out by the turret. <laughs> oh, really big grab. Gamers but with the double. Game is blood getting two with that blade, especially Very against both healers. Very good picks. It might not have been a 4k, but more going on the decision to try to find out this is definitely a good turn Every pick counts here. Is here. Will they be able to take the point? Which it looks like they will. I just will heal you. They're definitely going to need to really keep everything top line here. Whoever looking as we do have Chatter High Noon and a little bit of fireball Get into position. about to come on, so let's see what happens next. Then Yuki with the rooting for the ducks here. Now do you see Clan Tag gets uh, oh, big shadow. I do love multiple Reinhardt. It's always interesting. But still, managed to hold the point for now, and we're getting closer to. Really, this is going to be pushing down to the wire. So, probably they got if 10. If throwing can, can hold this, this is going to be a great comeback considering the disconnect. This will restore you. Oh, a big pen here. I'm going might just get grabbed just in time. Coming through, but not really getting too many picks. He's getting picked up by Bambi. Oh, why? It looks like they're going to basically get this. What a play. With a team kill, just to f take the point, and the first map goes to Duck, Duck, Goats. Score. Zero to one. I think basically throwing there definitely did a really good effort um, considering that it did uh, disconnect early on to come back and even just take it to 99% or Ooh, and we have another we need to pause this again there Lou we do oh sorry I, I was look, trying to watch the twitch at the same time <laughs> it's another disconnect from but yeah, so same bud here, uh, getting disconnected again. Um, Isn't that the second one? One more and... They get three, I believe. He keeps, says he keeps getting kicked. Could be Wasn't a server it? issue, but uh, it looks like I'd, if I was him, 
you know, it'd be best for him to get straight back in, and then potentially after this, I'm hopefully that I would assume they'd swap him out, and he may need to restart his PlayStation, uh, something along those lines. Um, well, he's spectating now. I'd... Let me see if I can fix that real quick. I better move him back. Blue team, red team. What team is it? Blue uh, team, right? Sorry, my colors are different. I have oh. pink and blue. Pink. <laughs> okay, blue team. Okay, he should be back in. I'm gonna go back. Should be back in. Uh, that's Which weird. At the start. That is weird. I would probably say it's potentially his internet and the Overwatch servers. I know there's a lot of glitches and things at the moment. I feel like we could, if he keeps it happening, we'll keep giving him a chance because if it is something, a server issue, then it's, it's we shouldn't count it against him or the team. Possibly this one in between, I think, isn't too bad. But uh, if it does keep happening mid-match, I think that's where an issue is. Well, basically throwing, I would definitely think they'd want to take him out after this map and maybe see if he can sort out his <laughs> internet as... As we know, there's a few bugs and things these days, but generally if you kind of They're cycle the PlayStation and cycle the game... Yeah. ...you generally fix things. Fix one thing, the good old turn next it on thing. and off again. <laughs> you fix one thing, next thing gets messed up. Oh, exactly. <laughs> And now As we're in. So far, we may see some changes, but we're not seeing any Lucios. We are seeing a ball on the side of Duck Duck Goats. Now, this is a great map for a Lucio to get those real environmental kills. Um, but obviously, ball on the side of Duck Duck Goats is going to be able to do that really well as well. This is one of like a uh, fan favorite of uh, Nepal here, Sanctum. Nice of environmentals. Definitely. Um, great off to see, however, obviously we're seeing a bit of a Farah here in the game as well, um, and Clan Tag's popping off the Echo now to go to a soldier. But well, we've still got the Torb on the side of Duck Duck Ghost, but Gary goes to his Ash, which definitely is going to be doing quite well against the Farah, so we'll see who's going to be able to win that battle. Allow me to go to the Ash, just got the pick on the game as well, so it's a really good early pick for Duck Duck Ghost. Der Kampf ist noch nicht oh, back to back. on each other. Yeah, really trading blows at the moment, but it looks like Duck Duck Ghost is going to come out on top here and take the point. I foresee great things for you. So that's no swaps inside of basically um, BT, so we're going to keep going. I know we have the shoes up into the Roadhog, so even more potential. Environmental kills here, so it's probably a good spot from A Roadhog is very um, dangerous on this map. Definitely, um, we've all seen some phenomenal Roadhog plays on this map, so hopefully we can see some really good work right now. Nicole cool, has popped up by Bud, Dub, Dub Sud. <laughs> Quite a tongue twister. Team money they're up top. Um, so they're what? Even one thing gets down. We are seeing a swap here from Game of Blood. So he's swapping off with Vara and Boom this. Definitely has the potential to kind of cause some chaos and try and get Duck Duck Goats caught up in that. But still, Duck Duck Goats just managed to hang on to that point. So they're just getting the advantage a little bit. And Dr. Grill taking out Lady Siren. We got a 70% taken over the point here by Dr. Duck Goat. So it seems like fighting at the point, almost close to the point here. Definitely or to the, the point. Uh, so we have a tool thrower kind of set up to the side. So they're really just going to protect hey, themselves from the flank distance. Quite well, smart play from Duck Duck Goat. Um, they're really just trying to confuse as they're throwing, which they're just spamming a lot of damage. Have a few good ults on the side of as they're throwing, so they might be able to use that to their advantage. And basically, throwing takes the point. 
and really they have 27 percent and they still got a really good amount of ults as well so that was yeah, a really good play for them to bye. use and roadhog's ult to really get a few off the points and really do steal some high damage <laughs> um, but they didn't waste too many ults yeah. so quite smart plays Activating shield. think they're going around back over here quite a big play here hopefully happening they face the Roadhog as they come out the door. Seems like basically throwing is going to hold the point a little bit longer with a little bit of staggers yeah, from uh, Duck Duck Goats. Looking at the side of Duck Duck Goats, they do have quite a lot of ults that are building up here. Uh, basically, everything except for Wrecking Ball. So, I think they're going to really throw everything in the kitchen sink, sink at this point right now. Let's see it's going to come out. Again, it looks like it's going to come down. Everything comes down. Big fight still, but Clan Tag up, able to hold down. Oh, but he gets... Having to hold, but they haven't quite got a team kill, so it's not over yet. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like... like that, a little too strong. Duck, duck. Basically throwing. Victory! Um, really strong plays, using five ults at once, it's always tricky to go up against that. But some really good plays, and Duck, Duck, Goats takes the first match. That's one out of the DDG. Play of the game. Hungo with the Zarya play of the game. <laughs> Wow. wow. What a kill. As much as all four cards there are from uh, Duck Duck Goats, I really feel like it wasn't that one Card side of a match. Is its own reward. Both maps going to 99% each, and uh, really some high quality players from both teams. Um, I really feel this definitely could be a map 5 type of match. I'm getting that type of feeling already. Uh, is it gonna go to the lobby after it counts to zero? <laughs> it. Uh, no, I it did. So. Okay, it did. <laughs> I was scared to leave the game. <laughs> uh, didn't want to do that again. Yeah. So it's <laughs> so it's one zero. -oh, um, Duck Duck Goats with the first map, and we're just waiting for any changes. Good round from both teams. It was very great to De watch. Yeah, definitely some really good good plays. Um, I think especially that first uh, on Sanctum, the first map there, just being able to come back from disconnect. We all know that a disconnect can really shake up the team. So having that come in and really still being able to really push Duck Duck Goats hard um, was a really great play, um, and they did really well. So both teams currently doing great things. So this is worth switching Mugen Cypher in. Or... Looks like so, yeah, Bob is going to be DPSing now this this round. Yep. And then Cypher coming in to support with Lady of Siren. We have one current KO member and one ex KO member, Cyf Mugen Cypher. <laughs> <laughs> Healing for if we if we, if we, if we, if we count ex uh, KO members, we've got quite a few of those ones. <laughs> Been around um, since the original days, back when before we rebranded to Oasis. So, let's see. We'll see if we have any changes for Duck Duck Goats as well. They have the to switch sides. We'll be heading into is Icon World. I uh, know not this one. Oh, the next one. After Icon World, we swap sides. Okay. So Icon World. Icon World's pretty fun to watch. Icon World's a great map. I'm really loving this rotation. Like Nepal, really good control map. Icon World is probably up there as one of the better payload maps or hybrid. Um, so it's really some great times. I always feel that uh, Icon World always reminds me back of Goats meta. I always yeah. think Goats. I think Icon World. You know, it would be fun. So I'm hoping to see some some fun. I want to see some Brig. Brig. Some Brig. <laughs> even after a nerf, I, I just still want to see some Brig today from both teams. Maybe a Brig Baptiste or Brig Zen. Not just kind of mini goats. 
Something called Top Gamer Bomb. Yeah. So it looks like basic term is ready. But KD is typing. Bambi, Hungo, All okay. Right. J Money, Overhaul, okay. Pop Tart and KD. Oh, the Dr. Grill is coming so out. Dr. Grill being subbed out for Pop Tart. Pop, pop Tart? I'm assuming it's Pop Tart. Dr. Grill, best boy in the Oasis server. <laughs> 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 it's a little joke. Uh, one, one thing first before I go, I'm gonna lower a little bit of the volume here. Uh, and probably hear our voices better like that. Okay. Um, we'll get ready from. Uh, so we've got a ready from Toku, we just need a ready from DuckDuckGoats, and we're good to go. Okay, they're ready, so let's start this game for round two. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought they need. I said they. I saw the wait or something. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, okay, so they're both ready? Yeah, so we're Making good to sure. go. Okay. Both ready. Apparently, I cannot spell amazing. Initiating match. Have you noticed um, Eckenwald has roads like that? I don't think roads were. Oh wait, never mind. I'm thinking of something else. I thought this place like took part in like back then, but I remember. Look at the cars are hovering too. So I'm... <laughs> it's a different world. Yeah, I was like, why are there roads? Ready or we also have like talking monkeys, a sentient uh, hamster true. that has a mecha. Um, what else do we have? <laughs> a butler that's uh, also a, a robot. Hey, I, I wish I could have a butler flying whenever I need anything. Right. Seconds. Just flying from the sky. <laughs> he doesn't need to shoot, but if he could just make me coffee, I think I'd be happy. And we see Twinkle and Takoshi coming in with the raw hog and uh, what's it called? The pulled pork here. Orissa. Yeah, we're definitely seeing some pulled pork, right. so Children we're going for a classic American Children barbecue behave. sandwich. <laughs> um, while on the other side, we are seeing a really... Five, this is probably four, one of my favourite alterations two, to the Double Shield, one. so instead of Orissa Sigma, incoming. we're going Ryan Sigma. It's oh, really great for brawling, um, but and a mercy on both sides of the team. Lady of Science switching up the role on uh, going to Ana. And Bub said it was a healing previous round, but he's back on the DPS as Ash. And on the Bub side of Goats, we obviously have them running a double hit scan here, so definitely high damage. Um, but wow, Bud's getting the early pick on J Money, which is a really good pick. Um, as well as taking the Sigma. Good old American Western. Like Goats is, is still pushing here. <laughs> oh, and there goes KDB, gets pushed off. Oh, they'll, they'll and Bambi just, too. They really just need to regroup here um, and second push. That just seemed to be a bit too much of the defense of basically throwing there. And we are seeing Hungo here swapping off the Sigma, so no more double shield, and then moving to a Diva. <laughs> Which probably works better with the comp that they're running. Um, Brian Diva is definitely doing well at the moment. Oh, Bubsud with the double dynamite kill on KDB and J Money. Bubs really popping, popping off. Obviously, he was on support last map alongside Lady of Siren, now on the Ash. Um, we already have both DPS ults on the side of basically throwing, so they're really holding strong here. Um, we've pretty much got all ults, ex except for except for Roadhog, really. On the side of Dr. Goat, so we've only got both support ults and McCree. So they're really going to need to play oh, crap. Right. I switched. How do I get out of that? Bingo. 
for a double kill from Overhaul. Uh, <laughs> kind of got stuck spectating really one person. <laughs> How do I get out of that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it depends on what it's bound to. I don't know. You might just need to change. Uh, I think sometimes it's like up on the D-pad. No. <laughs> you can you can quickly head into the center. Oh there we go, I got it, I got it. You got it? Oh my god. <laughs> oh that was fun. Now even the D pad down the to get out of it. goats with a really, really good uh, dead eye there, but still just weren't able to capitalize. Uh, Mug and Cypher managed to get a really good res off to really reduce the picks down. Um, and Togashi got back in as well, so unfortunately they didn't really capitalize on their few ults that they've used. Cease your resistance. And now we're seeing Face of Throwing really definitely has the old advantage here using Supercharger. I'm in a really good position too because there is basically no way that DuckDuck Goats can take it out easily at the moment. So Duck Duck Goat is really gonna have to do a really good push and try something different. Oh, we're gonna go. We just sort of swap off the Diva, so they're they're definitely trying. But um, and we've also swapped to Torb now as well. Thirty seconds remaining. That's from a couple of the players. That's definitely quite a lot of swaps there from Hungo and Overhaul. Uh, I think that's the problem is now they're not building up ults because they've swapped a couple of times. So they're coming to the Oh, Bambi was in. Missed Shatter. And gets pushed back by Roadhog. Full hog. Whole hog, I mean. Oh my god, that was. Ricky getting two kills. Two really strong kills as well. Game yeah. one taking out another. Uh, it's going to be very tricky for Duck the Goats to take this point right now. Four it's really just been an anna on point. Four gets in. But will he be able to hold on enough for the rest of the team to get back and have a hard push? He's down. Ball is down, so if they don't get on point very quickly, this is over. And, and it's a full hold from basically throwing. Very yeah, yeah, that was a very, very strong Score. defense from basically throwing. Um, probably one of the strongest Zero. defense I've seen them Switch play recently. Like, really good plays. And um, Twinkie on the Roadhog was doing really heavy work. Um, so they, he was definitely popping off there, especially at the end, getting a double kill with his uh, with his ult. The question is, will Duck Duck Goats be pulling out some form of bunker, or how? But, but big question to see what they try and pull out to stop basically throwing from even getting one tick. Ready for battle. So it looks like on the side of base on Duck Duck Goats, we're going for really classic double shield with the Orisa Sigma, and then Baptiste Mercy alongside Ash and Junkrat. So some good spam damage, good hit scan to do with whatever BT might throw. However, we see Gamer's Blood back on to the Genji like he was on the first map. And got some pretty good kills alongside Mei. So this will be fun to see if they can really push and potentially get a quick victory to bring this series back to one all. Three, two. I have like I feel like they're just gonna try to get in there and get like finish this up as fast as they can. I think so too. I think they're gonna go all out, especially going May Genji. I feel like they're gonna try and block off the team, um, and then just cap point. Especially how quickly they can do it without needing that one tick. Oh, and they're going around here, trying to. They're going around. No picks off yet. I think whoever gets the first pick Genji here. Genji diving on the ash. He's got take the ash off the high ground. Ooh, that's a big dynamite. No Getting here, Genji. Oh, this is even fight so far. No, oh, and there goes the first right. one. Lady of Siren taking so out Lady J Money. Of getting the first pick. Showing her DPS self right there. This is tough, so basically throw has got a few picks here, but overhaul man to take down Gamer's Blood. 
And there goes. Oh, Doom Two's managed to get to the win. point. This is tricky, and Victory. and they even up the series. So that makes it one all. This is definitely going to be turning out to be a really good match. Um, one, to be honest, just uh, basically game. throwing. Just their defense there was just too strong. There is. That, that goat. Maybe he had a few too many swaps. Uh, they were definitely just trying to obviously counter the strength of basically throwing, but still, it, they just kind of weren't able to regroup and and take that point back. Epic. But still, a good effort on both. Brings teams. a tear to my eye. Um, you want that? Who's a chaotic? Know that there's been trouble with the server. They didn't drop out that time, so it looks like the internet no, stable. No, um, I'm seeing that the other games is um, getting troubles with the servers as well. Um, there's another game going on. That it seems like they're having trouble. He's doing a lobby on his own. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, um, I'll I'll message him because since we had few connect disconnections, okay. um, well, I'll wait a bit. I mean, I'm saying we should just get that message across that there's server issues. Okay, so next map, we're going into, what's the next map? Hanamura? Uh, we Hanamura is the next map, so your favorite map. I know how much you uh, love Hanamura. Yeah, made me play it last night. I did. <laughs> and we made you play it the last match as well. <laughs> so, let's see. Twinkle Broadband right. coming in. Is this a debut for Broadband? I think it is. Um, debut on basically the throne. I believe they were on Pizza Planet before this. So we're having so uh, broadband Twinkle and Broadband on their tank. And Sorry, the rest go ahead. is staying the same for them. Um, but on the side of Duck Duck Goats, we have uh, Dr. Grill coming in for Pop Tart. The baby Wait, Jim, Bambi, no. Hungo, J Money Overhaul, Doc, Wait. and Katie <laughs> will round out the Duck Duck Goats. I'm lost. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Went too fast. Uh, Dr. Grill for Pop Tart. Dr. Griffin Oh, okay. Why did it? Why did I get. Oh, Bubsa will get ready, okay. Uh, Bambi. Got yeah, him Chaotic had go, an issue as well, but he's on top of it. There's okay. not much we can do. I know, this is letting we'll them just, know. If it happens again, we'll just be lenient. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, if. Any other games going on right now, we could let be probably be a little lenient tonight. Yeah, especially when it keeps happening to the same player, like it's it's hard. Obviously there are rules for a reason, however sometimes things are out of our control. Yeah. God damn it, Jeff, fix your inserting expletive. <coughs> <laughs> Alright, so Bud is ready, so we're just waiting for the ready on the side of Duck Duck Goats. And then we're going to be taking him to Hanamura, so... This is some great ones, I know personally we do occasionally play an Etra on Hanamura. A little bit of a teleport strat. Um, and a lot on the Overwatch League as well have been apparently running really great Symmetra strats and running some... Symmetra does uh, doing really great things, especially against double shield, so it'll be interesting to see what we get on both sides. Oh, this is the one where you got to swap the teams, Lou, by the way. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and just change the names at the top. Okay, I just need to swap. 
Takoshi to red. Honey biscuits to blue. Pop tart to blue pop tart. And then yeah. Katie says, and Duck Duck Goats is also ready after everything's swapped. Okay, so they're both ready? Are both ready. Okay. Making sure. I'm, sure, I'm, ho I'm hoping that was good. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you are all good, I checked. Initiating Everybody in, in the chat, give it up for Wukong, who's doing his first solo uh, casting. What? No, well, last game I did was well, like Pe Pepe Hands versus Flight Club, which was almost two seasons ago, a season ago. Yeah, I think that was last season. That's right, but. That we were a different league name back then, so technically this is your, you know, first solo casting in Oasis. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. As we said, Ready this was a takeover. Imagine. They didn't have a choice. They get us by <laughs> demand. All right, so on the side of Duck Duck Goats, we are seeing a double shield. Um, or well, Ryan Diva on the side of basically throwing. It looks like broadband coming in with their diva that she's been telling me about all week. Well, if they've been talking to you about D.Va, I'm excited to see it. <laughs> she promised me a 5k no-scope D.Va bomb. <coughs> so let's see. <laughs> uh, gamers play. Yeah, well, uh, our, fel our fellow <laughs> casters at, at Stream Team 2 apparently did the first disconnect with power outages and a few different things. So oh, okay, so... We've got a few going on, but it four, seems like three, some strange things two, going on. One. Yeah. Attackers it must be a full incoming. moon. <laughs> well, J Money and Overhaul coming in in the DPS with McCree and Torb. A nice favorite of mine, Torb Bjorn. Dr. Groon and KDB on the heels with Sen. I've definitely seen Duck Duck go. Um, Overhaul has pulled out Torb quite a few times. I definitely seem to be a favorite. But yeah. I'm really loving the fact we're running a Zen Baptiste on the side of Duck Duck Goats. You know me, I, I love my Baptiste. I always enjoy seeing him on the side of Zen. Overhaul taking out Broadband out of mech already. Take down there. And J Money getting the pick on Twinkie. Twinkie. Basically, Rowan's probably going to have to regroup here and maybe have another push now that they've lost both tanks, as well as Gangus Blood. Really good pick from Dr. Grill there to get Gangus Blood on, on the Genji. Oh, Cypher trying to hide in the little hut there. We found you, man. <laughs> Don't hide, they find you. Yes. <coughs> so, Bethes are making a good push here. Uh, getting the pick up from the Bambi. Bambi and Hunger are showing quite a good DPS, I mean, tank duo right here. Definitely, they're looking pretty cohesion together, really. Um, I think they're, they're doing quite well, but we're seeing yeah. some molten core on the point, which is going to make it a little bit trickier for basic throwing to try and um, take anything. And Duck Duck Goats, even losing overhauled and grill, and to hold on to it right in their defense right now. Oh, and Bambi is seen on our gamer, but with 2k. To get two kills there, but Hungo takes him out. Showing off his Maestro Bam. skin. Bam. Even with Bam. Gamer Squad Bam. getting some really, really good picks, uh, just it, Hungo on the Sigma is just popping off, like, yeah. managing to hold on and doing some really good things. Bam. However, they're really at a disadvantage here with Hungo being taken down. He's only one left drop point. But we have a few coming back. But will it be enough? Oh, Twin and Broadband working here together to hold off the point. Yeah, they meant to just to stay. They get back to give Bob a little room to spray in there a bit while they get their shield back up. Oh, and that's a big shatter! And shatter comes out. That was nice. 
getting both KD and Overhaul. I think they're going to be able to take this now. And it looks like we're going to point B. And that gives well, them the game point. Well, really poking up early. Uh, moving lost. up with, with Bud as well. Objective B. Really, because especially here on Hanamura, if, when you cap that point, if you can keep the pressure up, it adds the chances of being able to roll and really just not let the defending team really take advantage of their spawn advantage. Oh, we'll see, uh, Dr. Goat is maybe taking the high ground here. Supercharger comes out. Uh, they're making them waste Supercharger a bit by them going back and taking the long way around. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if it's on purpose see, or is. It prob <laughs> probably wasn't necessary to pop Supercharger. I don't know if maybe if Bambi's planning on swapping. Um, I don't think they're switching out, but. They obviously thought that they were all going to push through through the center, but. Some really good work from uh, BT just for. Maybe they changed their plans as soon as they saw Supercharger, and now they're Ooh. trying to push Duck Duck Coats off the high ground, which is definitely a good play. Oh, and it comes a lift up, and it takes out Twinkle. Twink, I mean Twink, <laughs> Twink, Twinky, Twink. <laughs> I don't know how to say. <laughs> I was calling Twink. I'm, I'm, I think it's Twinky. <laughs> I assume it's Twinky. Like, isn't that the American, whatever your Twinkies are? I don't even understand what they are. All I know yeah. is that they're in that Family Guy episode. <laughs> Or Simpsons, or whatever it was. Yeah, it was Family Guy when they're trying to get to Nade it, Nade it, or something. Like Prep City. Yeah. They found the Twinkie Family factory. Guy teaching Australians about American uh, life. Probably the best right, representation. Now, Basically, has regrouped, but they uh, raw band is out of her mech as Diva. And she can stay alive, though, so some. Good work, but they're definitely all fighting on the high ground. So we just need to get a couple of points on the side. We see Transcendence come out. Considering we have Shatter, Bomb, and Bob, as well as Valkyrie from the side of basically throwing. It's going to be good, especially now that the Transcendence has been used. However, really, we're pretty even on the side of Alt Advantage, really. We've got quite a lot of ults on both sides. Probably Duck Duck Goat slightly with a bit of an advantage there. Soon to have five versus five ults. They're gonna try again to go from the top. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, this is how they are. <sighs> However, to be honest, I think they need to maybe swap it up. I don't know. 60 seconds. If fighting again mm -hmm. on the high ground is the right call. Uh, it hasn't really worked so far for them, so. Be to see if they can get there. Those couple of pits. Oh, Bambi takes out Twink and Gamer's Blood in that process. They're helping out with the assist on Bub Thud. Broadband taking out one. Yeah, some very good picks from Bambi there, but, um. And Hungo mentioned to take out Siren as well on the end. They're making them push back a bit, making the fight go behind. So here, I'd, I'd probably, if I was basically throwing, I'd probably want to make some changes and just really get back in there quick and even if they can out cap partially of the second point. James Blood taking out the Hungo and they go and Hungo. Bob is in there. Oh, and J Money just. J Money is getting the big pick of Twinkie. But with his reds. Really good reds there from Cyber actually. Um, but clutch. See, probably a. See a Diva Bomb here as we get back into the mech. Get him to hold out a bit. Oh, or no. No, no do you already. <laughs> I guess holding it for an emergency. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> good. I was thinking from getting back. Yeah. That was a really good last push, I think. I think they they realized that obviously going through the high ground and fighting on the high ground was not working. I think just charging straight in and it was almost a charge in hope for the best scenario and I think they got there. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to be over aggressive and just wish for the best. 
That was close. Duck, duck, go. It's getting it down to no time in the time bank. So let's see how they go with their attack. Ready for battle. So we're seeing Hungo here swap off the Sigma, um, move into a road hole. Attackers incoming in But as he was doing seconds. really, really well on Sigma, I would have thought he might have stayed on Sigma. Uh, doing really well at the moment. Probably good on defense to Sigma, but switching it up Hello. here. Oh, and no, on attack, going to Roadhog would probably be a lot more. Roadhog's definitely good as well. You know me. You know me. I love my Sigma. <laughs> yeah. I think Sigma at the moment is just so. It's just his consistent damage, the fact of no reload, Five, you can just output four, so much damage as Sigma. Three, uh, yeah. two, one, even to be honest, actually, like, it's doing, oh no, he's Defend actually he's swapped back to Sigma. Power to he's shield. hoping they're not in the chat listening to me say go Sigma. J Money getting a good pick on Game of Blood and Mugen Cypher. Very, very good picks there. Can they capitalize? They really need to get down to the tank. Back, back, go. Really outputting just a lot of uh, damage here. With Katie, just really uh, great heal. I saw a lot of healing there to get her team back up. And Buzzbard just like uh, jumping off the edge. Preferring to throw themselves off than be killed. Yeah, it seems like. And game is about duck, to do the same go. thing. So they're gonna have more time on their hands here with six minutes to capture the point. It's gonna be a huge time difference if they get it in the next two minutes. Even to any yeah, minute, basically one throwing minute obviously. more. It, it is still possible for basically throwing in to hold out here. Um, spawn advantage, you know, we've seen some pretty crazy things on this map before. Yeah. However, if I was on my maybe wouldn't go hard to right, see how much time they have. J Money getting two kicks. They, they'd probably be able to capitalize on this and they may be able to take it. Oh, basically throwing and holding out. Bambi just hanging on. Overhaul though, getting the double kill as well. Hongo gets turned. They're holding on a bit. Seems like they're not letting. Yeah, they did not let. It's a little bit chaotic, um, but it, it is working. The chaos seems to be working for them. <laughs> and it looks like Duck Duck Goat's retreating, and they're gonna regroup, uh, give it another go. It's good. It's good that they backed out. I saw the Ryan uh, Bambi there just backing out, which was definitely the right move, rather than just uh, keep feeding. That's some really good play. Let's see what they do for push two. They're going to go up top on the right here. <laughs> Seeing their first target in the junk grab, but they did not get him as he got away fast. Yeah, they're doing a good rotation. Look, they're going to full rotate and then come through the side. Get into position. Oh wow, they just <laughs> a full <laughs> turnaround. He goes broadband with the B or bomb. Nothing. Here comes the tire though, and they get three. Game is blood, getting a triple kill. But then J Money and Overhaul just taking back the point. We're taking the point over with. Really good, very even at this stage. Both teams they're managing to really get some high picks, but it looks like basically throwing is going to hold uh, for a little bit longer at least. Yeah, it was a good defensive move by Gaming Blood. Hunger from Sigma is, is still fighting. Um, he's going to solo fighting whether the team comes back. But look, he's probably going to be down here, which do he probably should have tried to retreat, but I know that's hard as Sigma is to uh, slow as the slows. J Money in the pick on Bub. Time to break my the and here comes the tire, and B gets dropped. The tire's making his way around, and then Dr. Grill gets Gamer's Blood. Kill the Mahal! 
If you think she is, I don't think we're going to capitalize on it quite yet. Yeah. Bob's thrown in. We've seen quite a lot of ults from Duck Duck Go, so definitely had the ult advantage prior to this fight. I'm just seeing J Money come across the side there. <laughs> All his really great play for J Money there. Dipping him really well. Hitting the passion down. Like that goat, they've got one tick. Getting closer, but it's just. That score advantage of basically throwing and just holding them out too well at this stage. But two minutes left for Duck Duck Goat. Let's see what they do. We only have one tick so far. Only one tick. They do slightly have uh, ult advantage. They don't. They kind of have quite a few ults coming up. Um, we could definitely see something with a black tire combo to try and really take out some tank to heal BT here. They take out the tire and Junkrat. We'll give him a big defensive advantage here. He plays here. He has really cut my hand my hand. So, you know, Goku's in there. The ball comes in. They're just holding it hard here. Yeah, really good. Oh, KDB just to sacrifice herself to get back with the team. Really smart move there. Yeah, Definitely smart because they they've got one more push, um, and this will see if we go to it's another round. Swapping it up too. <laughs> They're really gonna this next fight have to throw everything they have. However, Bud there having a uh, Bob at his command is my will. will really better use Bob one just for damage, but also just to make sure they stall out the point if needed. Oh. Oh, and that's a big shadow. shadow. Oh, but Dr. Girl's taken out by the pen by Twink. getting bad, so that Bud will not be able to use oh, the Ouch. They're just going back and forth at this point right here. The two Reinhardt battle. <laughs> oh! But he gets taken well, out by Victory. And basically throwing. I do a bit of a comeback here, and that's two one to basically throwing. Play of the game. Gamer's brother with the big tire. Yeah, this was definitely a great play. Gamer's about doing some uh, some hard work, uh, but unfortunately, just uh, wasn't Ooh, quite enough good. to break through. Basically, throwing defenses. Keeping aware of his surroundings too. Just... Yeah, his game sense is definitely up there. So it's, he's definitely got some great game sense. Um... You haven't seen it anything. It is currently yet. two one in favor of basically throwing. The so next map is. Dorado? Correct, yeah, so we're going to be heading down over to Dorado, the next map. And people get switched? I or think so. Dorado. Let's see if we have any swaps. Really good play on, on both sides there, even though, you know, so the previous map basically throwing really strong defense on Hunter. And then uh, we'll just have to see here, it's been close. Probably the only map that wasn't close really was Icon World with a very, very strong defense from basically throwing. So we'll see if they can really hold it up. So no swaps on the side of basically throwing, they're going to be sticking with this lineup.
Oh, and here comes a new player. I think uh, looking like it's going to be tricky to pick MVPs for this match because really a lot of players are popping off on all roles. Yeah, very. So on the side of Duck Duck Goats, we have uh, Hunting coming in for Overhauled, and we have Pop Tart coming in for Dr. Grill. Okay, one second here. I'm currently messing with my. Okay, what was it again? Uh, so, Honey is coming in for Overhaul. Honey. And oh. Pop Tart is coming in for Dr. Grill. Okay, Honey for Overhaul. Yep. And Pop Tart and for Dr. Grill. Pop Tart, Dr. Grill. So, it should be Bambi, Hungo. J Money, Honey, Pop Tart, Katie on that side. So we're just waiting so for to see some, some really strong plays here from Dr. Goats, I think, for them to take this to the tiebreaker. I hope there's no tiebreaker, but at the same time, I hope there's an advantage for them to get the tiebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm joking. Tiebreakers are like where everything is. It's where the big magic happens and the best players come out. Just try, trying to it's fight. The, it's the nail biting in. Yeah, we've got the ready from uh, basically throwing. We're just waiting here on the ready from Duck Duck Goats, and then we'll be getting going. I love map five. I love just getting to a map five. All right, Duck Duck Goats is ready. We're good to go. And uh, let's go. Starting right. Okay. Yep. Making sure everything's right. <laughs> Traveling to Dorado. Initiating match. What are your predictions for what comps we're going to see on Dorado now, Lou? Um, hoping to see Broadband back on that D.Va. Still promised me a 5k, but... <laughs> I'm PC Bambi. Oh, there, oh, okay, we got two D.Vas on the side. Let's see who gets the first 5k. We're basically mirror comps here. Yeah. Uh, Brian D.Va, McCray Ash. But the, the only oh they're but they're we, all we mirrored. Have a mirror call. Incoming in thirty seconds. Mora and S Mercy on both sides of support as well. So as I said, I, I wonder if a day, I wonder if a day where we will come where we see a match where no team plays a Moira. Somehow I doubt it. Like the whole match or just one map? The whole match. Oh yeah, that 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 be possible. I've seen one. League over uh, the Overwatch League coming. games where they played Brig and Lucio and Brig Oh well, yeah, that's a lot of Overwatch League at the moment. They don't really play Moira. They yeah. There's a lot of Zen, a lot of Baptiste, a lot of Anna, occasional Mercy, but not much. Those bugs are taking out the dangerous J money. The first pick. A very good early pick. Uh, but Katie manages to get the res off, so a good res there. Don't move. Time to read my APM. This will heal you. 
Dunk that goat, getting uh, to the first level there. Uh, good little starting push. Unfortunately, uh, basically throwing in the high ground. He did really manage to hold them off too long. Ago. But now they're getting stuck down under the bridge. Allow me to repair the damage. Some good reses here by Katie. Katie is uh, managing to really just be able to get those couple of potential res. Oh, well, oh with a, a huge shatter by Bambi. Um, the game blood taking out the honey biscuit. Taking that honey. Honey biscuit is so known as on both sides, but the advantage is that that goes here. Honey Biscuit is known as one of our very great uh, hit scans in uh, tier the 3. Has the proving themselves. Yeah, it definitely does really good work in tier 3 and is doing fairly well here as well. It was a really good pick. So Duck Duck Goats gets it to the first point. Let's see them pushing up. And that was a very U Moira play by Pop Tart there, Lewis. Uh, what? It was definitely a. a Aggressive, let's push the convalescence. Oh, oh, yeah. Good play. <sighs> Gotta get the coalescence in after a shatter. Exactly. Just taking advantage of that shatter, you know. Yeah. Ooh, Honey Biscuit taking out Gamer's Blood. Another good pick by Honey Biscuit there. This will heal you. Oh, and there's just one Rob pick Bans. on Bambi. Not quite the 5k, uh, but one pick on Bambi is still good. Unfortunately, for basically throwing, Katie got another amazing res. Her reses are on point right now. Yeah, she's on fire this map. Like, early on, she was really doing hard work to get the going. But it looks like here, basically throwing is gonna really push them back, and uh, Duck Duck Goats will have to regroup and come back. However, Duck Duck Goats by far has the massive ult advantage coming into five ults here, uh, and we also are seeing Katie swap off the Mercy uh, and moving over to three, which should be really good because they definitely are brawling quite a lot, so they can get a lot of value out of the brick. This will heal you. Do something! Right, and Bob goes in on the side of basic throwing. Still managing to keep Duck Duck Goats at bay. Girl, the Mahal! Time to read my APM! Oh, right behind Twink Hungo with the Diva Bomb. <laughs> and Shatter comes in. This is really going to give Duck Duck Goat some good room to move forward. Especially they still have three ults here. Get into position. So one thing this whole this whole match, I think Duck Duck Goat definitely their ult economy is really good. They're not using too many ults for the sake of it. They're, they're playing smart here. And and here comes up another diva bomb, which just, I mean, gets nobody, but good effort. Probably just get back into mech. A for effort. Probably was slightly there a wasted bomb, but it's still good. Time to see, obviously, Dr. Goats is good time bank here, over three minutes. Um, should be able to hopefully push this to the third point. Do something! Oh, and J Money, another really good pick here by J Money. Duck Duck Goats has been very good at their time of prioritization. I've noticed a few times with J Money uh, or Honey has been really focusing on Odd Gamer's Blood. Obviously, he's known he's definitely good DPS. It's and it's taking him out before he can really get him out of And we get a double turn. Triple. J Money. Oh, 
advantage of the base he's throwing, but if the team is down, it's going to be tricky for them to keep it here, especially with the 2 minutes 20 in the bank. And that's a full push. Score. Zero to three. Switching sides. Initiating match. That was a really good push there from Duck Duck Goat. So yeah. still having two minutes and seventeen seconds in the bank. Um, and now we'll see see the defense. What did you think of that first push, Lou? But Gahungo uh, showing his dominance on D.Va from what I saw just didn't even need the D.Va bomb but still got a few picks and they seems like uh, yeah, Dr. Agree. Goats were very like well Attack organized pushing forward I think so as well they, they, the organization was great um, and they just managed to really whenever something wasn't working they regrouped they went back and then they pushed in and then they won that next fight. As soon as they regrouped, they basically won every fight after that. We are seeing GameSpot swap to a Genji for their attack. Four, three, two, and we're seeing one. Hungo parting with this would be fun. Gonna sneak in, I'd say. Stop the it really has been a bit of a battle the Divas here, but I think Hungo is just quite, just winning. Um, but both Divas doing really great work. And now we're really seeing Battle the Divas on the roof. <laughs> Babby's doing really good on, on Ryan though. Yeah. I, I, yeah, choosing MVPs for this whole thing, depending on who wins, is going to be very hard. J Money getting a, two kills there, some really good picks. At the very least, even if at this stage it's looking like if uh, even if BT can get it all the way, they may not be able to have as much of a high uh, time bank. The first fight goes to Duck Duck Goes. Hungo coming in, taking out Gamer's okay. blood. Oof. This will heal you. Come on. They're coming. Activated. 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 Now on the side of basically throwing, they've pretty much got all ults at this stage, so they're very close to it, so we could see a lot of damage uh, from them soon in order to get it to that first point. Oh, when the Bubs takes out Hunger over here. The power of destruction. Hey, Bob, do something! Oh, 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 a little bit further. Battle of the mobs. Shadow doesn't get anyone. This will restore you. So far, this has been quite even. Wow. Is Duck Duck Ghost coming in? Team kill. Duck Duck Ghost gets the team kill. So basically, like they're probably going to hold it. One minute remaining to get to the first 60 seconds point. remaining. Duck, 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 yeah, duck, duck goats can hold this, and it looks like we may be seeing that map five after all. 
Allow me to repair the damage. Nerf this! Can't go after that bomb gets uh, down. Oh, 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 oh. Seconds remaining. Bambi though consistently has been able to take out Twinkie on, on Ryan on this map, so he's definitely putting in hard work. It seems like they're gonna probably hold it, probably got one push left if they can make it. One push? You'd, really, they're gonna need gamers but to really pop off here and get a really good, uh, really good kill for the play. Here it comes. Game with the double. He gets two, he gets Honey and Katie, but is that enough? Bambi taking out the out push in the roll. Oh they really need to get Bambi down. Bambi gets the shatter off. Doesn't get any picks, but he holds them off just like that. They're fighting to keep it going. Yeah, they're really fighting for this. Back to our is hungry if they want it. <laughs> oh, and he comes. Gets one, brought down. Get Hunter. Get Diva. So much going on, and Cypher is getting the res. Oh, and they made it. I thought it was over. Yeah, that was that was very close. Really good. That was very good work from basically throwing that. They were almost out of it, and they just did not give up. And so what do you got to do? Got to keep pushing. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. I'm gonna watch Finding Nemo after this. So we're gonna see if, uh, basically throwing, if maybe if they're even gonna take advantage of the fact that Duck Duck Goat probably thought they had it in the bag. This will restore um, you. So I think Duck Duck Goat will definitely have to Welcome make sure they give just as good as a hold here as they did in the last one. <laughs> Bob gets thrown in there. Oh, the triple by J Money. Hold up now. J Money is he's just he's doing so much work tonight. Very. Back to goats wins the fight, and now they're going to be holding holding the payload and slowly push it back. Gamer's blood uh, got one, but it's taken out by KD. Oh, that, that was huge. Bambi again. Those shadows from Bambi tonight have just been on point. I feel like for tank MVP has to go between. I know we're not even <laughs> done yet, but Bambi and Hungo, this game yeah. is tough. tough. They both have been playing their lives off. Hongo on Sigma and Diva, Bambi on his Rhine. Yeah, Bambi's Rhine. Well. I don't know, I think Twink as well. He's been... He's definitely, yeah, you can't, you can't count him out. I think on this map here, I think Bambi has had the upper hand. Uh, With G-Money as well. Definitely. Yeah, this is a... Everyone is playing so well. Oh, that's huge. Oh, and oh. gets the big shout out. They didn't get anybody? Getting a double kill. Taking out the Ryan. They're in overtime, but can Look they a shooting it? star. I didn't know. I'm back in the fight. They're still pushing. Now they have to fight off six people or seven people. Bob included. I was about to ask about you, Matt, and then I remembered about Bob. You <laughs> can count the turret and Bob as one, pe one person as well. These two final pushes, the same as the previous point, and now, this, that just sums up this Victory. game. This game has been to the wire. And we're yeah. going into map 5. To be honest, I think there's no other way. Like, this match has been one that just, we have to have map 5. It's Epic. 
Impeccable. This is going to be going into a tiebreaker here. It makes sense that we're going into a tiebreaker. We know that us as KO, we love our tiebreakers. We like things going down to the wire. Last game so, I commentated went tiebreaker. Every game I think I've gone it went to a tiebreaker. <laughs> tiebreakers are fun. Everybody loves a tiebreaker. <laughs> Oof. Got that. Well, at least we don't have to move anybody around, and let's see who's coming in. Twinkle and Toku are coming in to BT. Broadband going out for Toku. Um, that's Game is in Bob staying. Okay. Sweet, welcome. I mean, he's welcome, welcome to stay sweet. if he welcome wants to, to talk. I assume you, that I am uh, doing something that I am. You're actually not welcome to stay. To you're, we're not. If, if you feel like commentating alongside yeah. us, we're we're heading into the tiebreaker map yeah, five. Yeah, if you want to come watch, oh, yeah, sure. Goes, duck, duck, goats. Welcome, Let's welcome. Let's do this. To this, uh, our third KO member. I come. Sweet, I our main tank, our healer as well. We'll say hi to. The I played chat. DPS in our scrim tonight. Oh, he did. Nice. I clapped. <laughs> yeah, I played Widowmaker. Well, we'll save this thinking, for uh, after the game, though. There's so. a we Widowmaker no headshot contest uh, 1v1 for Tier 3 going on uh, later this month. I believe it's on the 28th or something, towards the end of the month. White Walkers is hosting it. Yeah, White Walkers hosting a good little tournament um, towards the end of the month. Um, I think that is about it, right? The 28th. Yeah. That'd be a fun I, little I tournament. I think it is. A it's like the 28th or 26th. It's a Sunday. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're just waiting for... Gotta get duck, that plug in duck. there. <laughs> just waiting for duck, Reddy's duck, here. No swaps on the side of DuckDuckGoats. Okay, goats. no swaps, um, okay. So we're just now waiting on Reddy's. Um, the next map loses his Oasis. <laughs> An <laughs> another hey. KO uh, guest appearance here by Zombie Dylan. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, we should, welcome, Sweet and I should probably leave, correct? Oh, uh, no, I'm casting this game with him. Oh. Can, I mean... Sweet is going to be a guest commentator. Oh, I get kicked. All right, well, have a good stream, everyone. <laughs> I hope, hope this uh, game goes well for everybody. Zomba Dylan, you can give a big yeah. shout out to our fellow KO member playing in BT, yeah. Lady of Siren. They're going into H map five. Huge, huge, huge shout out to Lady of Siren. She's gonna clutch up here, play really, really <laughs> well here for BT. Uh, and I believe in Gamer's Blood too. He just got MVP on DPS last week against us. Yeah, he so also he, took a rock to the face from me. Oh my he's, god. He's, he's, he's gonna clutch up here. He's gonna clutch up here. He's gonna do great too. Everyone's soul playing leader well. support. Amazing, got a rock to the face. Yeah. Good luck with the cast, guys. Good luck. Thank you Enjoy so the much. stream, good everybody luck. watching. Have a good night, everyone. Alright. Alright, Lewis, we have readies from both teams. Basically, okay. Terry and Duck Duck Goats, both given readies. Who's, uh. Wait, and we, we just haven't changed the map, Lewis, unless you really want to do Dorado okay. again. Take out no. Sorry, I gotta take out Dylan. <laughs> he left the group, but he didn't leave the game. Ah, uh, yeah, just take him out. Um, who's okay. who's in the Overwatch Oasis stream two account? I think I they, they know. know. I, saw that. I don't know. Isn't there another game going on? Present yourself. Kidding? No, it's not. No. I don't know who it is. Um, hold on, I'm trying to. Oh, it's Jibba. <laughs> I j oh my! I was wondering who that was. I was like, uh, "Oh, sorry." Okay. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to the chat, Jibba. I'm glad to join us for Map Five. This is turning out to be a phenomenal game. Okay, so can y'all catch me up on what the big things that have happened in this game so far here? Bambi and J Money blows. have been popping. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, basically what you said. We're pretty much seeing uh, Bambi and Hungo on DPS for Duck Duck Goats, which are being a really great combo. Um, Bambi on Ryan is doing a lot of hard work, especially that last map on Dorado. But J Money, him on McCree, has just been popping off. Um, but so is Gamers Blood. Gamers okay. Blood doing well. It's a very even match. Uh, 
Okay. The only well, that's good to see. maybe wasn't even was Eichenwald, where basically throwing just had a phenomenal defense. Um, are they this, ready? This Sorry. Oasis, Oasis here is going to be great, considering we are the Overwatch Oasis. Playing that five on Oasis, okay. this should be wonderful. They're both ready. Sorry. Okay. We should just perpetually yeah. make this map five. <laughs> Every single game. Map five, Oasis. Welcome Oasis. <laughs> I had everything right, right? I didn't miss anybody. Initiating match. Oh, you know, you didn't miss anything, it's all okay. good. <sighs> right, so this is gonna be great, so... With, I think, either Hungo here, either on the D.Va, he was definitely popping <laughs> off, getting some really great kills, um... It'll be interesting to see if we see similar comps to what they've been playing. Ready we may see them battle. switching back. Oh no, yeah. still on the D.Va. <laughs> and Katie, stick into the uh, brig here. She did get some of those really key reses uh, back on Dorado, um, but then was also doing some great stuns, a few times stunning Gamer's Blood. Really phenomenal work all around. Five. Okay, we got two, one, Hungo round, coming back on D.Va with Bambi on Ryan, and Twink and Takoshi going on Ryan Zarya coming up here. It's actually the first time I think since map one we've seen Ryan Zarya. Um, yeah. A lot of Ryan D.Va being played in this match. Um, really exciting Touch to see. Did Swede get like cold feet? Yeah. <laughs> cold feet now that the game's I'm, just, I'm really afraid right now that I'm gonna start calling the wrong team. It's basically throwing at me for the team. Just look at blue, basically throwing. Red. Well, I got duck, duck, the new on that yeah, game. Yeah, that's how, that's how I do it. Bambi, duck, 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 duck. I only say Diamond Phoenix because I see Bambi. <laughs> basically throwing out that really well after losing the main team early on. Yeah, there's some both yeah. teams uh, being able to regroup when, or you know, continue pushing. Their, their aggression has been quite good. They know when to be aggressive and when to back off. But some really good picks there on the side of Duck Duck Goats to cap the point. That was a very good fight by Duck Duck Goats. Yeah, they're coming out of that with almost three ults after using those support ults. But on the side of basically though, and we're about to see a lot of ults coming online. Only ult that was used was Siren's, uh, Moira ult. Yeah, they're definitely going to have the ult advantage in this next fight. Um, especially, especially with the, 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 uh, the Blizzard, we can play like a Blizzard Shatter that may do some really good work. Get a good few picks. If they can take down, uh, Bambi and Hungo. It's hand. Huge Shatter. Money with the dead eye. Duck Duck Goats coming in. Really good Shatter and Deadeye there. It really basically. They're team killed. Yeah, we saw three ults come out really on the dead side. And they already have two more coming back up online. I mean, it only takes one ult to turn a team fight. And when you yeah. have that many, oh, you can put a bunch into it, and then you just see one ult from the enemy team shut all of them down. Yeah, and especially then when, when you have Ryan and Moira, two two characters that definitely build ult fast. Um, even, you know, mid, mid this next fight, uh, Pop Tart and Moira will probably have ult again, and Bambi not far behind. Uh, but for this push, we see Ooh, basically base. throwing. Uh, wow. Doing a bit of rotation. Enough to shatter on the D.Va so they could safely grab. They're still holding he does the get the point. health reset. Oh, and they lost the point. It's good. They, get off the stage. they do still lose the fight. But they got Duck Duck Goats getting to 88% there, so only a tiny bit more needed for them to take this first Hello map. There. Um, I'm sure they can regroup here and <laughs> let's see how this next fight goes. Get through this. Bob, do something. Oh, there's Bob doing Bob. something. 
<laughs> you are taking high ground. He picks on H, J Money taking down Siren. Both healers down on the side of base he's throwing. Stack that goes definitely with a bit of an advantage here. But no, Bessie throwing, they're holding on for the moment. Get into position. Oh. Back to back picks. Honey biscuits with the pick on the coach. Throwing, they're just keeping it, they're not giving up here. They do not want to give up at this point. The gamer's blood taking honey biscuits with the... <laughs> wow, so that was... <laughs> oh, and he coming in. And now he takes that hunger. Oh, wow. Cancelled the Rhine ult as well. <laughs> Especially basically throwing, got a couple of good ultimates, got shadow, and got grab. Using his whole weapon to speak. Oh, what Ooh, the shadow. And shatter. a really good shadow. Oh. Doesn't get any picks from it though. It's still really even. And map one goes to Duck Duck Goat. Uh, sweet to Bambi, that is the right, that's the right heart you'll be facing on Sunday. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Take some notes. I am ready. ready. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I have been. Come catch us Sunday as us three KO members face Duck Duck. Oh, not Duck Duck. Diving Phoenix. The diving Phoenix. <laughs> yeah. That'll be, be Cassin. Diving Phoenix as I think second or third on the ladder. I think third. Oh yeah. Doing it'll really be... well. Actually, this I think KO, they're. They might be second. Five. I think. Second, third, and fourth in tier three are all um they're, they're separated close. by one one I think one map di differential each. Like one's plus nine, one plus eight, and one's plus seven. I believe they're all five two. Oh. Five two is six two. It might be six two. I believe it's only two plus. Seeing the Orissa Hog here from UT. This will heal you. Yeah, they on the first control point they did decent amount of Twinkie on Hog and was definitely doing some really hard work. <laughs> Twinkie on Hog on Icon Wall as well. Probably one of the reasons they had such a bad defense. So, to see how it goes here. Basically throwing, getting a couple of really good picks, taking out J Money and KDB and now Honey Biscuits as well. This is my will. <laughs> so it looks like they're gonna cap the point first. Top is about to die. I need to plug it in. <laughs> I need to charge my phone a bit. I swear this my map does story. not have the same battery life that it once did. <laughs> <laughs> same here. My t I pl unplug my laptop. It'll be dead in like ten minutes. By getting an opening pick and being able to get out. Uh, really good pick there by Gamers Blood. Being able to pick off Honey Biscuits. See the pulse bomb take a chunk out of uh, Diva's mech. They're able to clean that up. Basically throwing. Yeah, basically throwing, just holding on here with. with... Basically throwing, doing the opposite of the name, that. not throwing. And clapping. Yeah. Well, you see Honey Biscuit taking the somber now. Oh. You've seen the swap? Interesting, yeah. Well, I guess they're like finally respecting that would have been a swap I would have gone right for, but uh. Meteor Strike! It's oh, where's it coming from? Oh, Tokoshi oh, stops J Money. Tokoshi takes it down. Wow. <laughs> now, this is a really strong display of face with throwing. Supercharge goes down. Supercharge. Hog oh. That is not something that you want. Nope. Game is by getting a couple of really good picks there as well. Get into position. This is going to be tough for Dark Dark Go to take this point back. Oh, I'm going to get pulled in. Something. <laughs> okay. 
Bambi trying to peek in a bit. Oh, J Money takes Two call it. Point, but can he stay alive? No, Tukashu takes him out. What? Takes him to overtime. This will heal you. Nerf this! Oh. It's a double kill by Hungo. Oh, it's a double kill. Both healers. Hello, Becca. Yeah. Really oh, oh, J Money is switching off from the McCree into uh, Doomfist. I guess he uh, can't beat him, join him. Okay, Battle of the <laughs> And we've seen them swap to ball just to get to point. Bambi on ball. They're giving it everything, but uh, Bambi throwing just has the advantage there. Bambi almost lost the point there, going too far up, but he gets the time back. High. <laughs> Luckily, he was paying attention and he managed to Beat slam back him. down. <laughs> oh, what strat he does. He's throwing just. They're just keeping him alive. The hall girl keeps everyone else from being able to contest. <laughs> This is into a true tiebreaker here. Score. Hi Becca. One. Becca is saying hi in the chat. We love hi, our Becca. Kelly KO. Hi if Captain. If anyone didn't hear the start of the stream, uh, Ready KO has officially taken over Oasis and it is a hostile takeover. Uh, we do all we want. <laughs> yep. Get Dylan back in here. <laughs> <laughs> I think this. I feel this is really fitting, don't you, Wu? Uh, we've this has been a very topsy turvy, five, very balanced match, four, and it's great three, that it's map five, two, map three. One. What we Round really need is a, a KO Capture on uh, Duck Duck Goats. Just to have a KO on both sides. Just <laughs> yeah, we gotta have KO everywhere. It'll happen. Oh my god, we have an honorary KO on uh, Duck Duck Goats. His name is uh, Daddy Niju. He was once upon a time on KO back in the day. Uh, he's not oh playing yeah. today, but uh, he's an honor honorary this KO member. <laughs> J Money getting a couple of good picks there. Taking out Barton Gamers. <laughs> Duck Duck Goats will be the first to tap. I would feel like this is a good Reaper map. A lot of curve in. A lot, of, yeah, a lot of places to hide as well. I don't know, there's just something about Soldier that's always appealed to me on this map. Soldier? Yeah. Yeah, you Soldier know, being able to take that, that high Trap left side all by himself. And just being able yeah, to... Soldier McCray often works well as well. A lot of good points for McCray to get some really good dead eyes. Some really good picks there from Hungo. Yeah, this Ryan Zarya really seems this to be uh, putting some work in against yeah. Arisa I feel like maybe Hall. This is the first time we've seen Ryan Zarya from Duck Duck Goats. They may have played it on the first map. Um, oh we've seen a, a lot of Zarya Diva from Hungo. Doing some really hard work on Zarya. I'm just glad my first game casting doesn't have to be double shield against double shield. No, it does not. Allow me to repair the damage. I think we've only seen double shield a handful of times. I think maybe each team's played it for a little bit of a match. Oh, big man. Interesting high noon position. Sitting there in the back, going for the single pick. It's good, I think some people do try and get too many kills with High Noon, but you know, a good pick like getting the Lucio definitely can have value. Oh, they get Honey oh before she falls no into the bite. hole. Get off the ah. stage. Oh, God, it's like real back to back here. Now it's basically the throwing time. To... I understand that. Like, you, you gotta play safe with my freeze ult, but when you have a. A somber ult going off right there. It's almost like an EMP bomb. You have to go big. Yeah. You, do, yeah. you need to get those picks. Like there, you had the EMP in the middle. Single kill, two ults, one kill. Standing ground. 
Oh, pulled in. Pulls the Pupsi from Grom basically throwing. <laughs> Even though it's not the uh, Ilias Bow, it still has good value by pulling them off the point. Get off the stage. Basically throwing holds again. Really gonna need to see Duck Duck Goats do a really, like, a hard reset. Um, wow, and I just checked. Back. Honey's already two thirds of the way to another <laughs> EMP already. Yeah, definitely doing some good work. They really could do a, a, a really good EMP coalescence, um, if not EMP dead eye. Mm -hmm. Or even just. Well, they'll have EMP probably before. Shadow. Oh, 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 oh. Even Cypher will have their the oh, oh. Probably, yeah. Yes. No. Oh, you win this fight here and you don't use EMP, you probably want to save it for that. Uh, <laughs> Here we go. Oh, back to the hole. Basically, they're only trying to save the point, but they get taken over. So now, stuck that goat. This is coming down Home to the stretch. wire. 5%. Cease your resistance. Oh, he comes bungles. Oh, J Money takes out. Stronger shoot is taken out. <laughs> He's hogging hog right that hog. That hog. Really good EMP. You cancel the hog gold, and preventing Genji from being able to dash while also. Somebody they get hold. They get held. <laughs> Kongo really getting accustomed to grabbing that uh, health back down there. <laughs> Uh, Lady of Siren coming out with the coalescence. <laughs> Lady of Siren. J Money getting a really good pick there. But it's basically throwing the head numbers right now. This is a hard it's fight. Hard the numbers. Oh, crap. Beat goes off. You got the twinkle. <laughs> Another beat. <laughs> I think Everybody that's the, the third person this fight that he's hooked into the that center area. Oh, he stopped the shatter. Yeah, Twinkle, those hooks have been really, really great. Uh, Togoshu doing some really good work as well. Uh, did some really Basically throwing, definitely have the numbers here. Basically like, throwing is making this a series right now. Yeah, so now they're on the home stretch. If they just hold it, they win this, but... Last I'd... fight, Hog Ball versus Hog Ball. Oh, Bambi coming in, trying to... They just get out there by uh, Tokushu, blocking off the main entrance. Oh, EMP. Oh, J-Money saving it. Triple kill. Ooh, that win for them. It looks like that's a team kill, and that's going to be... Game, uh, more than likely. That's the EMP high noon they needed earlier. Yeah. Wow. That well, they, they did it when it mattered and at the end. And that EMP high noon grasped the victory from the hands of basically throwing. And Duck Duck Goats uh, takes the match. The yep, game. there it is, right there. Stops gamers' blood right there and then he comes in for the triple. What a kill. Like, gamers' blood had the right intention to stop him. If he would have stopped them, it would have been a game changer on the side of basically throwing. Yeah, if game, gamers' blood, it was very close there. He, he definitely did the right thing and was playing well, but uh, just got outdone there by J Money. Oof. So what a phenomenal match! I think that was. I really mean, great, if the whole but... series was like that last, those last three, I yeah, mean, it pretty much was. Yeah, back to back. That was like one it... hell of a game. Yeah. It was like yeah, duck, definitely. duck, goat first, and basically throwing one the middle two. And... Yeah, duck, duck, goats came back on Dorado, so it's a uh, definitely was a really good comeback story. Down two one and ends up winning three two. Some amazing plays all round. I think it was really great. Oh yeah, two really good teams, two really good games. That was. Yeah, definitely. And you just look like the the first out of those first two maps, it was the polar opposite. The first map on Oasis, Duck Goat Goat just had that in the bag. Then the second one, basically throwing, could not, ba you know, basically could not do anything wrong. So, 
then it finished in what a hell of a map on map three. So it was an amazing, amazing game. Um, what are we thinking for? I think J Money has to like hundred percent has to get the DPS. Well, uh, what do you think, Luke? Our fuck for uh, tank MVP and uh, Dylan <laughs> for DPS. And... I mean, you saw my tank, didn't you? <laughs> Sweet, Sweet for, for heels. <laughs> No, <laughs> honorary mention. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, it was Becca saying in the chat. <laughs> um, I, I really, yeah, I really think J Money like yeah. not just that clutch <laughs> end there. Um, it's a huge. I think it's hard. He's torn between J Money and Gamers Blood was close. Like I think Gamers Blood and Bud were both definitely in contention, and even o and even Overhaul did really well. But I think constantly J Money was just. Making those phenomenal plays. Yeah, and that save at the really end. High picks. That save at the um, end is like the seal of the. The question uh, is because I think. I think the qu the question really is: Do we give? W what does Bron uh, basically throw and get? Because uh, like, I want to say Twinkle. Plays were phenomenal. Because it's Twinkle's second... hog. Like I yeah. mean, I only saw the last map. But Twinkle's but the hog. Is, hung, Hungo kind of deserves it too for his plays yeah, in the previous hard. maps. This is really because I would almost say I, I know this has almost been a thing. I've seen a few of the recent matches have been so close that some of the MVPs have got a split P. Like yeah. I would potentially say that for Tank, Bambi, and Hungo, because I think the two of them as a combo has been for J Money for DPS, and then I'd say maybe. Cypher or Siren? Um, or I want to see KDB for D heals and J for money support. for DPS and Twink for and Twink. Tank. I'm fine with that. I think sure? KDB definitely deserves it. <laughs> yeah, this is ha it's hard because like Hongo and Bambi so, did really I, good too. All right, I think I know what we'll do. I think we'll go so support. We'll give it to KDB because they're reses and yeah. And then I think Twinkie gets the MVP for. Tank, help M. Then we give honorary mentions to Bambi and Hungo. Yeah, that's fine with that. Fine with that. Yeah, because like I, I was watching KDB and like her reses were on point and like sw switching between heels and being very diverse in their heels was very good. Definitely, I think like early on as Mercy on Dorado. Those reses were clutch, and then she swapped to Brig and was getting some really good stuns. Uh, yeah. But yeah, she, I think she definitely deserves it as well. Um, I'll write it in the chat now. Okay. That's what they're all waiting. So we'll uh, end this here, and thank you for joining from the three members of KO Swede. Tune in Wukong. next time for the next KO. Uh, <laughs> Takeover <laughs> and Pixelator, aka Harv. Yep. Don't forget to hop in Thanks. Sunday to watch us uh, dominate our and our game. Right. It'll, <laughs> it'll be a great match. So one of the top teams, we're just uh, ranked six at the moment. Uh, so it's Sunday night, 6 p.m. Uh, on either here or the Overwatch uh, second stream channel. It'll be a phenomenal time. Um, come watch us. It'll be a great map. Yes. Hopefully more than one great map. A great match. Got Personal Sweet plug and Kakashi. You <laughs> to watch her. Maybe they might play DPS. Who know? Number one tank duo. Yeah. <laughs> How do I stop the freaking? <laughs> oh, there you go, bro. Okay.